Hi everyone, I'm John with iReAT and today I'm going to show you how to use the Readit software together with the Readit Scholar to capture uh, your textbooks. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on a couple different things. We're going to turn on multi-capture, so it'll capture multiple pages at one time. And then we're also going to turn on something called split pages. So as you can see right here, I have my textbook wide open, so two pages are showing up here. So I'm going to have it do two things. So I'm going to have it split those pages up for me so that I can number my pages correctly. And then I'm also going to do multi-capture, which means I can turn the page and it'll capture the next page. Keep And I can turn again and capture again, keep going just like that. And you could capture even a chapter at a time or even a whole textbook at a time if you wanted to. And then you can use the Read It software to have it read aloud to you, have it show up in large print, high contrast, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my Read It software. I'm going to go to recognition, recognition and I'm going to turn on split book pages. Okay, You can also do that with a keyboard shortcut um, shift B will do the same thing. Then I'm going to go here to my edit page or my edit menu excuse me and I'm going to do a multi capture. You can also do this with shift plus enter that will start a multi capture as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start that multi capture. Multiple capture enabled. So it's captured page one. Turn page. And ask me to turn the page. I'll go ahead and do that. Captured page two. Turn page. Turn the page again. There's page three. Turn page. Do one more time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and call it quits at, at page four, just as an example. We don't need to do the whole book right now, so I'm going to press escape. Multiple capture disabled. And it says multiple yes. capture disabled, and then it brings me back to the first page scanned here, and it will go ahead and start reading it. It's OCR'd it all for me. So that I can, I can continue reading this page if I want to. I can use these arrow keys up here to go to the next screen, which jumps you from section to section and will jump you through your pages. And so you'll notice two things here. So number one, that it cut my page off here so it did split those up for me and then that way it will know page one, page two, page three, etc. Um, so it split up my pages for me and then I captured multiple documents. So I'm going to go up here and we'll kind of scroll through a few of these to show you that we captured it. There's page two and it jumps by section. Page three. Here's page three. Page four. And now we're on page four. So as you can see, there we go, we got multiple pages. It did split those up for us into individual pages, even though I am capturing two pages at a time. That just speeds the process up. Anyway, now that we have um, our textbook or our chapter or whatever we wanted inside our Read It software, we can save this if we'd like to. We can export it to a bunch of different formats like MP3, Word documents, text documents, PDFs, and so on. Uh, we could read it inside here using the speech feedback from the OCR. We could also have it in large print, high contrast if we wanted to. So we can come up here, say zoom in for example. Um, we'll switch this here to uh, binary. binary. There's a high contrast, black on white. We could switch that too. If we want high contrast, black on white. We can digitize it. We can do all kinds of things. So that's how you get your textbook into the Read It software. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.